All right, hello everybody. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Yes, awesome! All right, let me stop sharing this screen. Um, hello, everybody who's logged in. Um, all right, I'm simultaneously doing Zoom, Instagram, and Facebook Live. Those of you on Instagram, you don't have the nice microphone sound, but hopefully you can still hear me okay. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to our body armor workout today. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so much fun. I'm just realizing that you can see this camera in here, so let me move this a little bit. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I have a TRX strong workout for everybody today. So our big focus will be on strength. Um, hopefully everybody has your strap set up. You've got some water available. And before we get going, I want to thank everybody. Um, for, <laughs> thanks guys, I know people are already logging in. I want to thank everybody um, for logging in and I want to thank Body Armor for sponsoring these Commit to Fit workouts in the month of January and good news, we found out also the month of February. So, um, really quick, I don't know how many of you guys have tried Body Armor and I'm absolutely not going to lie. I was never a very big um, sports drink drinker until they sent me a bunch of this stuff and the fact that it is very low calorie it's got coconut water and it actually tastes really really good <laughs> so we've actually been drinking in our house and one of my resolutions this year is to get about 70 ounces of water in every day so i've been using the body armor um, coconut water and i've been using the body armor very light sports drinks to help me get to that goal so there's our body armor plug thank you body armor for sponsoring today's workout we have to Get to work today. Let me move this out of the way a little bit though. So you guys, I'm probably gonna cause mass chaos here. This is what happens when I try to use all these different devices at once, but I think we got it. All right, so guys, having your straps, we're going to do a brief warm up, and then we have seven different rounds of work. These rounds of work are gonna be four sets, 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. And as we progress to these four sets, they're going to get harder and harder and harder and harder. It's gonna be so much fun. The end of the workout, hopefully we'll have time to get to all these. We have three different to failure sets. So three different exercises. We're going to go either one minute or until you can't do it anymore. And then we'll experience some amazing TRX stretches today. Um, those of you on Zoom are probably gonna get the best um, sound and video quality. So if you're on Facebook or Instagram and you don't like your sound, go ahead and meet us on Zoom and you'll get the best quality. And I'll get to see you move a little bit if you have your camera on and I can help coach you just a touch as well. All right, guys, it is time to get started. We are going to start with our regular TRX warm-up. Those of you who've taken my TRX classes before know that we do the exact same warm-up every time, not to make things boring for you, uh, but to have a sense of consistency a sense of ritual, and quite frankly, it's a really good warm-up too. So, guys, we're going to start with your T-Rex standing rollout. I'll have your straps at mid-length, stand facing away from the anchor point. Nice, strong, active plank on the balls of your feet. Squeeze your bum tight. We're going to roll those arms out just a touch and then return directly beneath your shoulders. This should not be terribly hard. Our goal here is to have that nice, strong, active plank and to just feel that plank engage as we move out and back. And I want you guys to think about squeezing those butt cheeks tight. You've got a piece of coal between your butt cheeks and you're trying to make a beautiful sparkly diamond by the end of this workout. Three, two, and one. Next up is our squat row combo. The straps will be at mid-length. I'm going to have you stand facing at the anchor point. So lean back, walk it under, eyes are up, shoulders are down and back. Drop that bucket down, squat. Plank and row and plank. Alternate those two. Our goal with this one is to maximize your hip mobility. Drop that bum down there, move those hips, and engage behind your shoulder blades. Feel that squeeze behind your shoulder blades like you're trying to grab onto a pencil between them. Letting your shoulders fall away from your ears. Your neck stays nice and relaxed. Three, two, 
and one. Forward lunge with Y fly. Strap stay at mid link, stand facing away from the anchor. Arms straight out in front of you in a Frankenstein position. Take a big step forward with your right foot. Bend the knee, press into the handles. Bam, come right back down, feeling the core engage. Step forward with your left foot, bend the knee, press. I'm gonna have you keep alternating that side to side. If it feels really good, you can kind of hang down in the bottom and stretch out your hips. Shoulders once again are falling away from your ears. Big inhales and exhales. We have 15 seconds left. This is my favorite one. If I have to pick a favorite warm-up exercise. This one does so much for you. Engaging your core, stretching out the whole front side of your body. Three, two, and one. Single leg hip hinges are next. Ooh. All right, single leg hip hinges are next. Stand facing the anchor balance on your right foot. I'm gonna have you hinge forward, hold for just a moment, and return. Hinge forward, hold for just a moment, and return. Working in and out of that. If you guys are familiar with yoga, this is kind of like your warrior three in yoga. So my hips are square to the floor. My pinky toe is pointing down toward the floor, and I'm feeling a nice stretch through my hamstrings on that right side as I move in and out. Try not to set down my left leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs, please. Balance on your other foot. Press down on the handles and hinge forward and return. Again, working in and out of that, keeping your toes pointed straight down. Chest is up tall and proud. Feeling the stretch. I'm always tighter on my left hamstrings. And I can really feel that right now. 15 seconds left here. Enjoy that stretch. Make yourself nice and long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do some lateral lunges. Feet nice and wide, toes pointed directly forward. Chest is up tall and proud. Bend your right knee, get a little bit of a stretch, and pull yourself up. And bend your left knee, a little bit of a stretch. Now the goal is not to feel these lunges loading your muscles right now. I want you to feel the stretch in your inner thighs and your hips. We're using the suspension trainer to help unload your body weight as you move back and forth through this. Oh my gosh, this feels good. 10 seconds left, <laughs> and five, four, three, two, and one. Finally, our golfer's rotation with a chest opener. So your hands are belly button height. I'm gonna have you press down on those handles really hard. Shoulders set down and back out of your ears. You'll be pivoting on your feet. Rotate all the way around, touch the ceiling, and then drop those arms open and close, feeling that chest stretch. Then I'm gonna rotate to the other side, pivot on my toes, open and close, and just keep working through. Stretching, returning. Oh, that feels good too. Keeping tension on your straps the entire time. Let's do one more each direction. And then we'll get going with our workout. Uh, or we could just do that all day. How are we doing, Instagram? Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of you watching. I'm so excited. Thanks for hanging out today, and hopefully you're actually working out, or you're just watching me work out and kind of giggling about it. That is just fine as well. All right, guys, we are going to get started with this workout. We're going to start with a TRX standing plank. So I'm going to have you lengthen your straps all the way long. And you're going to place your forearms in the foot cradles like this. Okay, so I got my forearms in the foot cradles. And I'm going to stand facing away, find this nice strong plank, and you'll notice you can make it harder by walking it back, make it easier by walking forward. We're just gonna hold this for 30 seconds, and then every one of these four sets, we're gonna make it a little more challenging. All right, you guys are ready? And I'm gonna have you just hold this plank, everything nice and tight, focus on driving your forearms down, squeezing behind your shoulder blades, squeezing those butt cheeks tight. Remember, we've got that piece of coal between your butt cheeks, and you are trying to make a beautiful diamond. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to afford a diamond nowadays. <laughs> if you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can move back but make sure you've got your body in that nice straight line. Your ears, your shoulders, your hips, your ankles are all in perfect alignment. Tummy is nice and tight. We have three, two, and one. Now you get your 30 seconds off. 
Um, I promise eventually you're going to be really, really grateful for that 30 seconds off. <laughs> but right now, just enjoy that. You can stretch out a little bit more. What I'm going to have you do for this next set, if you feel safe doing it, is take a steeper angle. So I'm going to have my forms and the foot cradles, we're going in 10, and just walk a little bit lower, making sure you feel safe because I can't be there to catch you. We're going in three, two, and one. Squeeze your buns, pressing down in the forearms. Drive those foot cradles away from your body. I don't know if you can see me in the camera, but I am definitely shaking in this position. <laughs> my straps are wiggling. Squeezing those butt cheeks tight, that's going to help stabilize your spine and make that diamond. We have 10 seconds to go. Oh, I'm not supposed to swear on Instagram, am I? I'll try my best not to. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. Oh, all right, for our third set of these standing planks, I'm gonna give you the option. Remember, this is always an option. You don't have to do any of these progressions of marching while you're in that position. So we're going to hit that nice strong plank and I'm gonna have you just try to march in place, still actively pressing your forearms down. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's start to get into that position. Erin, I didn't even know you had a suspension trainer at home. I'm so glad you're there. <laughs> and walk it back a little bit, three, two and one. Now keep in mind, you might have to adjust your angle a little bit <laughs> now that we're going to be having one foot in contact with the ground at a time. This is not fast. Today our focus is strength. Don't worry, you're still going to burn plenty of calories. You're still going to get your heart rate up plenty high. Ugh. <sighs> 10 seconds left. Ugh. Five, four, three, Two and one, oh, take a break. All right, we're gonna get really crazy for this fourth set. Um, again, it's optional, but I want you to challenge yourself. We're gonna try to do a rock bottom TRX plank. I'm gonna turn my Instagram friends this way a little bit so you can see me a bit more here. So for the rock bottom TRX plank, we're going to get your forearms directly beneath the anchor point. If you don't feel safe, please don't do this. <laughs> but we're gonna walk it all the way beneath the anchor and hold our plank directly beneath the anchor. We're going in three, two, and one. Ready, set, squeeze, and drive. Now normally when we're in suspension, our instability is coming from our feet. But when you have your forearms in the foot cradles like this, our instability is from that upper body. And I think this is even more challenging. If it gets to be too tough, you can always wiggle your feet forward just a little bit. We have 10 seconds to go. Ah, tight, 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 grab that coal. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well, that sucked. Oh, come on up. Okay, and grab a sip of water, or I'm gonna take my obligatory bot. Look, they sent me a towel, you guys. I got a body armor towel. Don't be jealous. Okay, <laughs> grab a sip of water. We're gonna move on to our TRX row series. The first row we're gonna do is a regular TRX row. And when you row in the suspension trainer, you always want your straps fully shortened, so all the way to the top. That gives you room to get to a really steep angle without hitting your back on the ground. So we're gonna shorten our straps all the way up, stand facing the anchor point, hands at your rib cage. We're gonna start with just a traditional TRX low row, eyes up at the anchor, dig your heels into the ground. We'll straighten your arms, bring your elbows into the side, big squeeze behind the shoulder blades. Let's go for 30 seconds. Right now, are your toes up towards your shins? Are your shoulders away from your ears? Is your chest up tall and proud toward the anchor? Are you still zipping your ribs in though? <laughs> Halfway, big squeeze behind those shoulder blades. Hold on to that piece of coal. 10 seconds remaining. You can always adjust your angle if you need to. Five, four, three, Two and one, we get your 30 second rest break, shake it out. And remember guys, you always have the option of changing your angle during the set. If you feel like this is too easy, walk it under. If you feel like, wow, I don't think I can finish 30 seconds, walk it back a little bit. Our next row is gonna be a high row. Elbows come out to the side, try this with me. Bring your elbows out to the side, but notice how I still keep my shoulders down as I have my elbows out to the side like that. Okay, so guys, I will have you, straps fully shortened, stand facing the anchor, elbows out to the side, chest is up tall and proud, digging your heels into the floor, squeeze your buns, 30 seconds, here we go, lower down, 
and bring those elbows out, keeping your ribs hidden. Now, if you get to the end of this 30 seconds and you're like, wow, that was way too easy. I'm kind of wasting my time at this workout. Then clearly you didn't choose an angle that's challenging enough for you. Squeeze your bum. <sighs> Shoulders down, ribs are zipped. Five, four, three, uh, two, and one. Shake it out. We're going to move on to our mid row. So we did a high row. We did a low row. So high row, low row. Where do you think mid row is? Zoink, right here. So elbows come about 45 degrees from the side. So shake it out. We're going to go back in in 15 seconds. Again, if you're thinking, wow, these rest breaks are too long and the working isn't long enough, take a steeper angle. All right, stand facing the anchor. We are going in five, mid row four, three, dig the heels in, two, and one. Elbows come out 45 from the side. Nothing changes with your posture. Remember that strong plank we started with? We're doing that exact same plank right now. Ribs are zipped, buns are tight. Toes are up towards your shins. It's important you dig your heels into the floor. That helps keep your body straight and tight as we do these exercises. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we've got one more set of this row series. And this is really fun. We're actually gonna do a row combo. So we saw three different rows. We saw our low row, mid row, high row, we're going to cycle through those three during the entire 30 seconds. So we're going in 15 seconds. Also, this final set should be your most challenging. So if you think you can do it, take a step under the anchor. All right, you guys ready? We are going in. Row combo, five, four, three, two, and one. I've got my low row. My buns are tight. I got my mid row, and I've got my high row. Ugh. And I'm going to cycle between the three. You notice how that high row is a little trickier? You're working different parts of your back muscles with each one of these pulls. Whew. Are you keeping the shoulders relaxed away from your ears? We like to say, can I see your long dangly earrings hanging down? Five, four, three, Two and one. Let's do a quick back stretch. Walk it back, fold your body in half, <sighs> and just stretch and breathe. Feeling that stretch through your lats, feeling the traction through your back, and shake it out. We're going to move on to our TRX chest fly. This exercise is typically done not correctly, so I want to go over the form of this one, and it may become one of your new favorite exercises. So we all know a chest fly, right? You hold dumbbells and it's open and together, like you're hugging a tree. So there's no flexion and extension happening at my elbows. They stay at the same bend, and it's open and together. So when we do a chest fly on the suspension trainer, it's the same thing, but now we're using your body weight to move in this position rather than dumbbells. So we'll have you take your straps all the way long, and we'll stand facing away from the anchor point. In the chest fly, we always have an offset foot stance. The reason why is so you're keeping constant tension on your body and on the straps. Okay, so if it feels like it's too easy here, you can always move back. But let's get in this position. Your palms are facing one another. Your straps are slightly off of your arms. Your front heel is off the ground. You're barely touching this front toe. I want you to collapse your front knee as your arms open. And then big press into the handles. Common faults I want you to look out for. A lot of times people turn this into a lunge and they just use their legs. Or they just take a bow and bend at their hips. So that's why I want you to pick up that front heel, barely touch the toe. Palms are facing one another, straps are off your arms. Now collapse that front knee open. Here we go, 30 seconds and big close. Use this first set just to focus on what the movement is. Explore how it feels. Make sure you're not committing any of those faults. Ugh. And you can really feel your core engage as your hands move in and out. Notice how my hands aren't coming any higher than my shoulders, just like you would for a regular dumbbell fly. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a little break. Stretch it open. Chest is up tall. Swing it out. Hopefully you have a feel for that one now. I know it's kind of a weird one, um, but 
what I'm going to have you challenge yourself with now is to try to go a little bit steeper. Now, if you understand the mechanics, we'll add a little bit more load so you can really feel this movement. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's find your position. Palms facing one another. Take that step back. I don't care which leg's in front. Feel free to alternate if you'd like. Pick up the front heel so you're barely touching that front toe. It's just there for balance. Collapse your front knee open. Press into the handles and close. Let's go for 30 seconds. TRX chest fly. My core is braced. I'm only using that front leg for stability. I'm not really pushing into it. Straps are not touching my arms. They're just off of my arms. I'm still holding on to that piece of coal between my butt cheeks, and my shoulders are still away from my ears. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, let's stretch it out. Catch your breath. All right, should we get really crazy with this one now? <laughs> option, and only if you feel like you've earned it, you can actually pick up that front foot as you drive your arms together. So I'll be in my position for my fly. I still collapse on the way down, but then I pick up this front leg as I come up. I set it down again for stability as I lower back down. Um, don't leave it up the whole time because that's going to change. Um, it's going to create a little bit too much instability and take away from some of the strength. All right, we're going in three. Get ready. Two and one. Here we go. Down, squeeze, press. Oh, pick it up that leg. Again, that's totally optional. Elbows are slightly bent. Pressing into those handles. Now with the 30 second set, we're only going to get 10 to 15 repetitions in. So Try not to take that mindset of, oh my gosh, I have to do these forever. Take the mindset of, I only have to do a few more of these so I can totally challenge myself. Three, two, and one. Shake it out, stretch it out. We've got one more set of these chest flies. Again, I'm going to encourage you to challenge your angle and possibly taking that option of picking up your leg as you push your hands together. Roll out your shoulders. We're going in 15 seconds. We can start getting back into that position. Walk it back just a touch. <sighs> Find your plank. <laughs> core is sore. TRX is all core all the time, and that is not a joke. All right, my front leg's in front. Here we go. Collapse the knee, arms apart. Press them together. Blah! Come back up. Grunting is optional. And I always say the nice thing about doing these workouts at home on Facebook, Instagram, or Zoom, is you can say or do whatever you want. <coughs> and for the most part, I can't hear you or see you. <sighs> That's how I like taking my Zumba classes now, so nobody can see the embarrassment of me trying to figure out dance moves. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, stretch out your chest one more time. We survived that one. Chest up tall and proud, pressing those hands apart. Catch a breath, grab a quick sip of water, water or <gasps> body armor. How was that? Did you like that placement? Is that pretty good? <laughs> All right. TRX sprinter starts. Very similar positioning to the TRX chest press. And also, very commonly done improperly. So, straps are fully lengthened once again. We'll be stand facing away from the anchor. Here's the tricky part. You have to get the handles and the straps in your armpits. So see, I'm holding the handles. I let go of the handles, and I put them in my armpits like I'm wearing a backpack. So they shouldn't be wrapped around your arms. They should literally be in your armpits, and your hands are glued to your rib cage. Your fingers are touching your boobs. Okay. I'll stand facing away from the anchor, and I'm going to put my right foot in front, step my left foot back. I barely have any pressure Okay, on that back leg. All my weight is on my right foot and my right heel is off the ground. Eyes out ahead of me, I'm gonna squeeze my bum, come up, hold that for just a moment, and then come back, barely touching the back leg. If you see yourself doing this with your back leg, that means you're cheating. Okay, so make sure that back leg is straight and you're barely touching it. You're going to feel this a lot, right? There, in your quads. You guys ready? We're going in five. Sprinters start on the right, four, three, Two and one, squeeze your bum, drive it forward. Is your right knee tracking directly over your middle toes? Are your eyes out in front of you? Mine aren't, because I want to watch you too. <laughs> You'll notice that burning sensation pretty quick in your quads. The cool thing about these timed sets are you're in charge of how fast we move. We can slow it down, or you can pick up that pace. Again, you're barely touching that left leg. Three. Two, and one. Shake it out. We still have to do the same thing on the left side. 
Whew. See, that one gets your heart rate up a little bit, doesn't it? So again, straps are locked and loaded in your armpits. And we're going to walk it back, center your left foot to the anchor. Your left heel is up off the ground. I'm going to set my right foot back here. And I'm putting all my pressure on the ball of my left foot, barely loading my back leg. Squeeze your left bum, keep the knee in alignment, drive the right leg up. Notice how my right foot is dorsiflexed for proper runner posture and bring it back. We're moving into that triple flexion position on the right side. I'm driving through the right left ball of my foot, barely tapping my right toe. 15 seconds left here and then I'll give you an option to make this one even more awful. <sighs> Squeezing your left bum, eyes out ahead of you, shoulders still falling away from your ears. Three, two, and one. Whew. Give yourself a second stretch at your quads. You can hold onto the straps if you'd like. Shake it out. We're gonna do this again, this time option of adding a hop. So to add the hop with my sprinter start, now when I come forward, I go forward, back, bend the knee forward back bend the knee still not loading that back leg though if you'd like to do this feel free or just do the ones we just did we're going in three two add one on the right leg this is our third of four sets of this one forward back absorb that back leg barely touching the toes on the left side this one burns really quick <laughs> And because I'm streaming live on Facebook and Instagram, I can't blast my Backstreet Boys right now. <laughs> Which definitely helps motivate me through this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ouch. All right, other side. Shake it out. Now we're gonna center your left foot to the anchor. Exact same game on that side. So center your left foot to the anchor and we'll step your right leg back, although you still have 15 seconds. So if you want to stop and stretch, feel free to do so. <sighs> oh, I have so many of you hanging out with me, guys. Thanks for logging in. I appreciate it. <laughs> Even if you're just watching while you're eating snacks on the couch, I don't care. I'm still glad you're coming and joining us. All right, left side, are you ready? And here we go, forward, back, reset. Squeezing that left bum, driving the right knee up. <sighs> Pressing into the floor, eyes straight out ahead of you. Just to hop forward, make sure you hop back though. If you forget to hop back, you're gonna kinda keep doing this until you're totally standing upright. Five, it burns. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Stretch out those quads again. You can hold on to your straps if you'd like. Standing up tall, and just catch your breath. Nice work, that one definitely got our heart rates up a little bit. I'm so excited for our next exercise. Um, I think Jesse's in here. We made some of the Badger Gymnastics gymnasts do, uh, do these pike ups. And I'll give you the option to go your pike up to handstand if you'd like to try. And what's awesome is that we're doing this live. So if I totally bite it, <laughs> you're all gonna see it. So if you're logged in right now, you might as well just watch even if you're not doing the workout because something funny might be about to happen. Guys, we're gonna do our TRX pike ups. So we wanna bring your straps to mid calf length. What that is is handles just about knee height. Now option, if you're not comfortable going into suspension, that's totally okay. While we're doing these four sets, you can do a regular hand plank and you can even move in and out of downward dog to get that hip hinge effect that we're doing with these pike ups. Everybody else, let's double check your strap length, making sure the foot cradles are dangling just above your toes. They're not touching your toes, but they're also not way above your toes. Now to get your heels in the foot cradles, we'll put two fingers in each foot cradle hold it wide in a Christmas tree, roll backwards. <laughs> Dive your toes into the back side of those foot cradles. I'm in my happy baby yoga pose. Flip over so I'm ground facing away from the anchor. I'm gonna be in a hands and knees position here to start. When you go into suspension, because I can't see you, this is so important, I'm gonna say it twice. Your hips should never sag down. Your back should never be in that position. Not even just a little bit. Okay, then your back will hurt. I'm gonna say this again. If you let your hips sag while you're in suspension, your back will hurt. And that will cause you to not like TRX and that'll make me sad because TRX is the best thing ever. All right, so guys, we're gonna do 30 seconds of our TRX pikes. You're gonna press your heels back. You're gonna squeeze your calves, quads, glutes, hamstrings, come on up to your plank. 
push down with your feet and your hands, come up into your pike, and reset. Questions? I'm going to tuck in my shirt so you don't have to see too much here. Ready, guys? 30 seconds. TRX pikes. Push down, lift up, and come back to your plank. Are your shoulders directly above your wrists? If you're rocking in front of your wrists, that's going to cause your wrists to hurt. So make sure you're kind of pushing your feet back so your body weight is directly above. Now, your range of motion is going to be very individual. It's going to have to do with how much mobility you have in your hips, your hamstrings. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently set your knees down. Whoo! <laughs> I love this exercise. Yeah, now people are logging in. They're like, I want to see Shauna fall. If you want to make these harder, you can sexy crawl forward a little bit, but you have to do a sexy crawl. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go again in 15 seconds, TRX pike ups. Again, one of my favorite exercises uh, because I used to be able to do a press handstand and I can't do them now. And uh, this is going to help me get back to them someday soon. Going in three, strong plank, two and one. Push down, lift up, stick the landing and come back. Push down, lift up, stick it and come back. Squeezing your buns, grabbing that piece of coal. And guys, at any point during this, it's okay to set your knees down, reset, and come back in and join us again. We never want your back to hurt or your hips to sag due to fatigue. Whew. Pressing down, squeezing, bracing. Five, four, three, two, and one. 30 second break. Ah, come on down. You guys like my, my new yellow yoga mat? <laughs> We're doing this little star system thing at home where if we complete a certain number of healthy activities, we get stars during the day. It's super cheesy, but it works. And this new yoga mat was my prize for the first week for getting all of my stars, for staying hydrated and going to bed on time and getting enough exercise minutes throughout the week. Guys, we're going again. Feel free to add a straddle as you come up. Three, two, and one. Strong plank, straddle, and come back. That's it. This is optional. But kind of fun. You see what we're leading up to? Oh boy. Ugh. And reset and stick it. Lock that plank between each rep. Squeeze your bum tight. Whew. 10 seconds to go. Push and straddle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. All right. We have one more set. I'm going to give you the option of going all the way into handstand. If you haven't done it before, you don't feel safe, please don't. <laughs> the trick is to keep constant tension on the straps at all times. When those straps get loose, you're doing a free floating handstand. And if that doesn't feel safe for you, you might be putting yourself in a dangerous position. All right, we're going in 10 seconds. Straddle the handstand, optional five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Oh, almost there. Almost there again. There we are. 15 seconds to go. I'm being super careful because I really don't want to bite it in front of you guys. There's one. Maybe I'll just stay there. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sorry, guys, no major accidents. Did any of you do it? <laughs> if you're on Zoom, give me a thumbs up if you were able to get to your handstand. <laughs> and give me a high five if you actually crashed and burned. <laughs> Did anybody make handstand? <laughs> oh, I may have lost the Instagrammers. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our next exercise here, guys. We're going on to TRX hamstring curls. So we're going to keep our straps in the exact same position at mid-calf length. But now we're going to be ground facing the anchor point. So I'm going to have you guys take a seat. <laughs> Again, you can double check, make sure your straps are at mid-calf length um, by having those foot cradles dangling just above your toes. Then we've got to get your heels in. So two fingers in each foot cradle, hold it wide like a Christmas tree. Roll back, tuck your knees into your chest, drop your heels on top of your fingers, extend your legs out in front of you. Head and shoulders on the ground. Option one, you can keep your bum down and just drag those heels in. Option two, you can lift your bum up and pull those heels in. But making sure your toes are falling back toward your shins. Let's get ready for this first set. Going in three, two, and one. Push down, lift up, drag your heels in and out. 
head and shoulders are on the ground. My toes are back towards my shins. I'm squeezing my bum nice and tight. Still feel this nice, strong, solid plank. And I'm breathing. And I'm just so thankful I didn't face plant during those handstands, guys. We have 10 seconds left. Push and drag. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit on up. Ooh, stretch out your hamstrings, hang out for 30 seconds. Now, if you want to make those more challenging, what I'm going to offer you as an option this time is you can actually bring your hands up off the mat and create a little bit less stability for these hamstring curls. So we're going to get in 10 seconds. And you can always set your bum down if it feels like it's too much intensity, either behind your knees or on your hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Lifting my bum up, pulling my heels in, and out. So now your body's a little more wiggly since you don't have the support of your arms on the floor. Your core has to work a little harder to keep everything stable as you move your knees in and out. And I've got bad news, especially if you're new to TRX. These never get easier. <laughs> I've been doing these for 15 years and I hate them just as much as I did the first time I tried them. Three, Two and one, but guys, hamstring strength is so important, especially for you ladies. Uh, by having a stronger hamstrings and glutes, that can help prevent some ACL injuries, can help stabilize and support your back. So even though they feel a little gross while you're doing them, they're really, really, really good for us. All right, swing out those legs. Option, if you wanna make these a little more challenging, we can scooch back a notch for our third set. This is only an option, you don't have to do it. We're going in five, four, Three, two, and one. Push down, lift up, drag those heels in. Oh yeah, I was lifting my arms up too, wasn't I? <laughs> and again, all of these things I'm offering for each set as we progress are options. You never have to do any of these. You do what fits you. That's the cool thing about suspension training is there are so many different levels and we can all find a level that works for us for any level of fitness, from the highest level of athlete to the most deconditioned person in the world. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit up, reach for those toes, stretch it out. I'm gonna give you one more option for this fourth and final set, and this is a doozy. I'm gonna put my hands back down for this. It's a hamstring curl hip press combo. So what you'll do here, we're going in 15, is you'll do your hamstring curl first, keep your knees bent, and lift your hips up, lower down, extend. My bum never touches. Again, that's just an option. You can do anything we've done previously. Going in three, two, and one. Hamstring curl, hip press, lower down, extend. Yikes. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're squeezing those buns. Still working on your diamond in there. Hamstring curl, hip press combo. Push down, drag in, lift up, lower down. Woo. <laughs> We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Stretch out your hamstrings. We are going to get your heels back into the straps for our next exercise, but take a moment, grab a sip of water. <sighs> I know, Chatty, I know I froze. I'm new to the, <laughs> he's yelling at me, my, my Instagram live. Hopefully I'm done freezing. I'll be very honest, I did not plug in my phone, so my phone keeps wanting to be like, I don't want to do Instagram. So if you don't like your Instagram connection, meet me on the Zoom or on the Facebook. Otherwise, I'll have the recording later, too. And Shadi, I know you're not doing this workout with me. Um, <laughs> guys, we're going to do some TRX sit-ups now. This is a really, really cool exercise, but it definitely challenges the mobility of your hips. So even some of the fittest athletes I've had have struggled with this one, so I'm gonna give you some cool options. We're gonna keep your straps at mid-calf length. I'll have you drop your heels into the foot cradles, making sure your toes are back towards your shins. You're going to reach your arms straight up. I know of those of you Pilates people, when you do your Pilates roll-ups, you start back here. But whenever people do this, I see this. And that is cheating. So I'm going to have you start laying on your back with your arms straight up toward the ceiling like Frankenstein. Now here's the trick. I want you to push your heels down in those foot cradles really hard. What that's doing is lighting up your hamstrings and your glute muscles and that's taking the tension off of your hip flexors. We don't want your hip flexors dominating this. You're going to bring your arms up. Now some of you are just going to curl up a little bit and return. 
But if you can, I want you to drive down with your heels, come all the way up, touch the ceiling, and then roll all the way back down nice and controlled, trying to keep downward pressure on your suspension trainer. We're going in three, two, and one. TRX sit-ups, touch the ceiling, and back down controlled. Ugh. Driving those heels down. Now, I have a tighter hip flexor on the right side, so it's kind of a fun science experiment. You'll see my right leg jump a little higher out of those foot cradles because this hip flexor is trying to say, I want to do the work, not the hamstrings. <sighs> so I have to really forcefully think about pressing my heels down during these TRX sit-ups. And that was your first set. Take a little break. We're going to do this again. And I'm going to give you the option of adding rotation for these TRX sit-ups. So when you come up, you'll push down your heels, roll up, and rotate to one direction. And then come back down. And then you'll do the same thing. But the trick is to not let your legs go wibbly wobbly as we're doing this as well. Guys, we're going in five seconds. Get back into position. Rotational optional. Three, two, and one. Push down. Bring it up. And a bit of a rotation. Sitting up nice and tall. You know what's kind of a bummer? It's not that big of a bummer. Miguel, if you're watching, T-Rex sent us these really cool black tank tops that I'm wearing. And it says TRX right across the boobs. But it's also written in black. So I bet you can't see it. Stop trying to look at my boobs though. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, and one. We're going to do a different take on core strength for the last two sets of this one. We're going to do your abdominal bicycle. So for these, we're still going to focus on pressing your heels down, but I'll have you place your hands behind your head. Without lifting all the way off the ground like you did for the sit-ups, you'll drag down with one foot cradle, elbow to knee, and return. Again, the difference between these and regular abdominal bicycles is we're taking some of the load off of your hip flexors, so I like these much better. Guys, we're going in three, two, and one. Shoulders off the ground. Now, as you drag your heel in, you're pushing down on both sides. Your straps shouldn't be doing that sawing motion. If they are, that means you're not pressing equally in both foot cradles. Try to relax your head into your hands and just breathe as we're going elbow to knee. And good news, we only have one more set of this, and then we'll do some of our two failure exercises. Then we stretch, and then we're done. Or was that not very motivating? It's still too far away. Three, two, and one. Relax. Ah. We have one more of those. I'm not going to change a thing. Um, if you want to go back to TRX sit-ups, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, we're going to do those TRX abdominal bicycles again. So again, making sure the heels are driving down, even if you're barefoot. Heels down, toes come back towards your shins. That keeps, keeps your calves from cramping and keeps your heels in place. We're going again in 10 seconds. One more set of abdominal bicycles in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's rotate, pushing down, dragging in. Shoulders away from your ears. <sighs> pushing and pulling. Pushing and dragging. Ugh. And keep breathing. Belly buttons in tight. Pulling down on those foot cradles. If you guys have the TRX Pro, it's got those adjustable foot cradles, which have been life-changing for me and my children's size feet. Three, two, and one. You did it really quickly. Let's roll over. Just do a brief stretch. <sighs> Pressing up into our cobra. Sphinx. Cobra. I don't do yoga. <laughs> or you can come here. And then press it back into your child's pose. Walking your hands forward. Get goosed by your suspension trainer. <laughs> and come on up. Grab a sip of water. We made it through round one. Yes. Now we have to do our two failure exercises. So we've got one minute of each of these exercises, and here's the scoop. You go until you can't, or you complete the minute, or if you poop out during that minute, then you can either just stop and be done, or stop, catch your breath, and come back. We've been doing 30-second sets, now we're moving on to full minute sets. Our first exercise for this are TRX lunges. This is where your straps are mid-calf length and you have one foot in suspension. If that's not your thing, I'm going to have you do what we call TRX balance lunges, where your straps are at mid-length and you'll stand facing the anchor. Plant on one foot, you'll hover the back leg and come back up. 
or you can even set that back leg down and just do some TRX step back lunges. But I'm gonna coach the rest of you guys through our TRX lunges. My straps are at mid-calf length. I'm gonna start by doing these lunges on my right side. So grab onto both handles with your right hand. Not foot cradles, but the actual rubber handles. Bend your left knee, look at the poo on the bottom of your left shoe, or snow on the bottom of your left shoe. Point that toe, pop it through your foot cradles, bam. You should be facing away from your anchor about one foot in front of it. Come on down, meet me on the ground. Now your front heel is one foot in front of your back knee. Squeeze your buns, stand straight up, zunk, find your balance. Now you're gonna lower that back knee down to the exact same position. You're not kicking it back. You're gonna go straight down one foot behind your front heel. Two inches off the ground, one minute. Are we ready, team? Here we go. Chest is up tall, I'm lowering down, squeezing my bum, drive it up. Now if you have something in front of you, maybe it's your screen, maybe it's a mirror, I want you to look at your right knee and make sure throughout the entire range of motion, it's tracking forward over your middle toes. It's not collapsing inward. And you're, oh boy, here we go. You're actively pressing your full foot into the ground. This is not a paid promotion. I'm not with Under Armour anymore. But these Tri-Base Under Armour lifting shoes, the Tri-Base Rain, are fantastic for giving me stability. <laughs> Whenever I know I'm gonna do exercises like this one, I wear these shoes. They're awesome for lifting and I can really feel my foot grounded. Chest is up tall, pressing into the floor, driving up. That right bum should be tired. Your quads on the right leg should be tired. They're probably still angry from those sprinter starts. We have five, four, three, two, and single leg butt kick to get out of there. Did you make it the whole minute? <laughs> on Zoom, give me a thumbs up if you made it the whole minute with those. We're gonna shake it out. We've gotta do it the other side. All right, so I see all these people coming in on Instagram. I assume all of you guys are working out with me. <laughs> They're like, whatever, it's Saturday morning. We're gonna do the other side. So I want you to grab both handles with your left hand. Again, handles, not foot cradles. You're gonna bend your right knee, look at the bottom of your right foot. Point the toe, pop it in, bam. Now lower down, let's set yourself in alignment on the ground. You should be one foot in front of the anchor. Okay, chest is up tall and proud. Your left foot's grounded. Squeeze your buns, brace your core. We're going to stand up, find your balance. Whoa, is that knee tracking forward? We're going for one minute. Ready, set, here we go. Left or right knee almost touches. Push down, drive it up. Keeping that left foot grounded, making sure the knee, again, is tracking directly forward. My shoulders are down, my chest is up. Notice how I'm not hinging forward at any point. My torso stays straight. The only thing moving are my hips and my knees and my ankles as I move down and up from this lunge. Chest is up tall and proud. And the cool thing about this workout again is you choose your pace. If you're like, man, Shauna, this is boring. Fine, pick it up. Give me some more reps in this minute. See what you can do. And you always have the option of not being in suspension and doing those TRX balance lunges or step back lunges as well. 15 seconds left. Down, squeeze and drive. Chest is up. Notice how I'm working my arms in opposition as if I'm running. Five, four, three, two, and one. Single leg butt kick to get out of there. Woo! All right. Let's get mean. We're going to do our TRX atomic push-ups. Um, true story, atomic push-ups are actually how I got connected with this company. I was at a fitness conference in Chicago, I don't know, 100 years ago, and they're having a competition and I can't say no to a competition. And it was an atomic push-up competition, and I won the female division. So I won these goofy straps, and I had no idea what they were or what to do with them. So I brought them back to Supreme, and I was trying to use them. I couldn't figure them out. So then I signed up for a TRX education course, and now look at this. This is what I do. This is my job. All right, TRX atomic push-ups. First option, you can just do regular push-ups on or off your knees on the ground for a minute. Now, remembering you can stop and reset at any point. Otherwise, we're going into suspension. Straps are still at mid-calf length. You shouldn't have had to change them. Hold it wide in a Christmas tree, roll back, toes in, meet me ground facing away. We're gonna be hands and knees on your mat. And for these push-ups, in order <laughs> for these reps to count, if you are counting, you have to lower your chest down about five inches off the ground, 
and then pull the knees all the way in, hips hinge up just slightly. We've got a minute of this game. I am definitely gonna take some rest breaks during this minute. See how many reps you can do, and then I want you to comment with how many you got in a minute. Are you ready, guys, set? Here we go, nice strong active plank, push up, and crunch it in. I'm not gonna talk as much here, because I just wanna survive this. Now, are you really going low enough? Is your back straight? We're halfway. Starting to hurt. <laughs> 15 seconds left. <sighs> Three, uh, two, and one. Get out of there. Oh, what numbers did you guys get? Oh, I got 20, <laughs> and it was very, very hard. <laughs> so comment, let me know what you got. David, you got 18, you beast. David takes my classes here at Supreme, and I know he can do more than that. He was probably holding back, so I didn't feel so bad. Jesse got 20. I'm not shocked at all, Jesse. You probably did it with one arm, too. You guys are amazing. <laughs> all right. One more to failure, and then we'll do some stretches. We're going to do our TRX hip presses to failure, or one minute of these guys. So. We're still not adjusting the straps. We're keeping your straps at mid-length or mid-calf length. I'm going to have you sit ground facing the anchor point. We're going to drop your heels in. Head and shoulders back. Pop those heels in. Now in this position, your thighs will be perpendicular to the floor. They're vertical. Your toes are back towards your shins. Core is braced. Everything's nice and tight. We're going to push your hips all the way up so you have a straight line, knees, hips, shoulders and down. If you're on a door anchor, make sure those feet never touch your door. Straightening them out like that is cheating. We've got one minute, and you bet your butt I'm going to take some rest breaks. But this is it, guys. Then we stretch. Going in three, two, and one. One minute. TRX hip press. See how many you can do. Count your reps. I have never been good at these. Trying to get better every day but they're my nemesis. <laughs> oh, you keep going. I'm just going to think about it for a second. <laughs> We're halfway there. Oh, good Lord. Are your hips coming all the way up? <laughs> 15 seconds left. Ten to go. See if I get five more. Oh, time. Yuck. All right, I got 25, guys. What did you get for these hip presses? <laughs> What's your number? I'm sure David did like 60. <laughs> what did you guys get for your hip presses? How many? 22, Jesse. Nice. Yeah, these are terrible. <laughs> Although I've got some friends who can crank out 100, no problem. So you guys are amazing. I have to lift this up and down, which makes it a little more challenging. But good news, we did it. Should I be cheesy again? Fueled by body armor, dun dun dun. Okay, the best part, we have to stretch. We're gonna start, especially after those hip presses, with your seated figure four stretch. You can keep your straps at mid-calf length. Um, I'm going to shorten mine up just so I stay in camera here. You're going to have a seat facing the anchor and scooch way back so your arms are way out in front of you. Left leg straight, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Bend the left knee up and gently lift your chest up toward the anchor. Shoulders are down out of your ears, dropping your right knee away from you. Um, shout out to Nancy, too, who is in the other room here at Supreme doing this workout. <laughs> I had to kick her out so I could do the workout without my mask on. So thank you, Nancy, for being so flexible. I hope you got a good workout. <laughs> Pressing your knee away, chest is up tall and proud. 
Shoulders down. If you want to, you can lift the toes of your left foot. Be a little more stretch in that hip. I see people logging out. The stretching is the best part, you guys. <sighs> or maybe it was just those of you watching to see if I had a major mistake or crash while filming live. <laughs> Other side. Was it, I think it was Mother's Day or Father's Day. I did a face Facebook Live on the TRX Instagram. It was a mom and kids workout. And it wasn't as bad as I thought, but it was live. And like all of the TRX Instagram followers were watching. Luckily, my kids didn't do anything bad, but there were definitely some meltdowns during the workout. <laughs> that was for sure risky. Again, lifting your chest up, shoulders away from your ears. <sighs> All right, come on all the way up. We're going to do your T-Rex Cossack stretch. I will have you shorten your straps just a touch to mid-length. We're going to stand facing the anchor point here. Walk it back. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have you take a nice wide stance. Toes pointed directly forward. Chest is up tall and proud. As you bend your right knee, your left toe is going to rotate up toward the ceiling. Some of you will be here. Some of you will be able to make it all the way down. But make sure your right knee tracks forward and you're fully grounded on that right foot. And I'm unloading my body weight by pulling up on the straps. Then I'm going to pull up. This is Mark Cronel's favorite stretch here. Except for he can do some crazy, ridiculous ninja stuff with this. Chest is up. Keep that left foot grounded, toes up, shoulders down out of your ears. And you can hold either side or just move side to side and flow through this. Feels really good. And again, you don't have to go as low as I'm going. Some of you will be here, and that's totally fine. Pulling on the handles to unload your body weight. That's the beauty of the suspension trainer with a lot of these stretches, is by pulling on the handles, you don't have as much weight pushing down on your joints. So you're able to flow through these stretches even better. Oh, and come on up. All right, your half kneeling hip flexor stretch. You'll need a mat for this one. It's such a good stretch, though. <laughs> I know I had you just shorten your straps, but now I'm going to have you lengthen your straps to mid-calf or even fully lengthened. And you're going to stand facing away from the anchor. Let me find a good angle where I'm in both cameras here. Arms straight out in front of you like Frankenstein. So I'm not here. I'm standing up tall with my arms straight out in front of me. I'm going to take a big step forward and lower my left knee to the ground, pressing the hips forward, driving my hands up toward the ceiling. If you don't feel a stretch, scoot the whole operation forward a little bit. If it's too much, move backward a little bit. Now from here, keeping tension in the straps, I'm gonna drop my right arm behind me, and eyes follow that right hand. I'm actively pressing my hands apart, squeezing my left butt cheek to drive the hips forward, keeping tension on the sta straps and just breathing. <sighs> and hold that, oh my gosh. If this is really tight and uncomfortable for you, that means you need to do this often. This is where we tend to get tight, especially sitting so often. All right, now we're gonna switch it up. Place your right knee down, pick your left leg up, arms up, drive the right hip forward, and then drop that left arm down, eyes follow the left hand, actively pressing your hands apart, squeezing your right bum, driving the hips forward, letting your shoulders relax away from your ears, <sighs> and just breathe. Almost done, guys. And slowly, safely, come on up. We're going to end with your T-Rex chest and torso stretch. So I'll have you stand facing away from the anchor. Walk it forward. Thumbs are up. One foot in front of the other. Press those hands apart. Shoulders down and back out of your ears. I'll come this way so you can see me. Hi! <laughs> and then maybe move back just a touch. Drop your right arm down. Reach your left arm up and over. So glad I shaved my armpits. And other side, drop your left arm down, reach your right arm up and over for that side stretch. Ah. And then step your feet together, forward fold, take a bow and just hang for a moment. And just stretch, let your head relax. Now don't log off yet, because I gotta tell you how you can win your amazing prizes. <laughs> and come on up, give yourselves a hand, everybody. <laughs> You made it. Um, so those of you who made it through the whole workout, because I assume you're still tuned in, here's what you can do. Body Armor sent me some $10 Adidas gift cards. Um, I know it's not a lot, but it'll at least pay for a good chunk if you want to try one of those cool Adidas masks. Um, and for those of you that think Body Armor and Under Armor are the same company, they're not. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sent Adidas gift cards. So here's how you can win your Adidas gift card from me um, or some cool Body Armor product for those of you who are local. 
Adidas gift card anywhere in the US. I'll send it to you. Um, you're going to take a screenshot right now, a selfie with me and the TRX suspension trainer, blah. And then you're going to say, hashtag, you ready for this? I'll put it in the chat over here. Commit to fit challenge. It's commit number two fit challenge. Hashtag commit to fit challenge. So take a picture at any point, a selfie with you in your screen, selfie with you. Although if you're on your phone, just take a screenshot, I guess. Um, and then just say, hey, I did a TRX workout with Body Armor and Shauna today. And hashtag commit to fit challenge. You're committing to be fit in 2021. We are going to... Oh, I just sent that to Jesse. Let me send it to everybody. <laughs> um, we're going to commit to turn... 2021 around and try to reach our goals, focus on positivity, focus on health and fitness. You guys, I had so much fun hanging out with you today. Um, I will have this workout recorded. I will post it on the interwebs. Um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for logging in and hanging out with me. Now I gotta figure out how to end all of these different things here. We're going to end the Instagram. <laughs> I'll stay on Zoom for a second if some of you guys want to chat. I'm going to end the Facebook Live. Bam. And now it's just us on Zoom. Whew. All right, you can unmute yourself if you want to. <laughs> Thanks, for <laughs> Thanks for Aaron. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was like, I was like, uh, here, let me stop.